What's going on YouTube? I'm back with a quick video. I'm gonna assemble my Quick Jack 5000 system today so I can get this bad boy off the ground, do an oil change, do the O2 sensors, and probably a couple other projects that I've got coming down the line. Anyways, there's a lot of good videos out there already on how to assemble the Quick Jack, so I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail on it, uh, but I do need to get this thing fixed. And I apologize about the garage, it is a mess, but uh, here you can see the little Quick Jack system. Anyways, I'll go into more detail soon. All right, we'll start with box. It's actually box number three, as you can see, three of three. But this is where the motor and all the fittings, user guide that I've heard is missing in a lot of these. So let's go ahead and cut it open. Cut the, cut the hoses. Looks like there's a couple of boxes in here. It's yeah, on there pretty good. Alright, put this down to open this up. Nice and packed. Alright, I gotta put the camera down so I can get this working. Out of the big box, or the bigger box, I should say. Let's see what else in this bag. Here are the smaller hoses. I believe those are the ones that go on the actual jack itself. All the fittings that you have to put in there. Here are the lifting blocks, I believe, is what they're called. And some of these are, there's different sizes from what I saw in the other videos. Some of these are filler blocks too, so it doesn't slide over. So I put these side by side, you can kind of see the difference in here. All right, I had to put the camera down for a second because it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. So we don't need this anymore. Very nicely packaged. I'm really impressed with the quality. A couple of the other videos, I guess the units uh, have been either getting upgraded or new revisions, but some of them, from what I saw, you had to put this carrier piece on. I'm glad it's already on there, so it saves me a little bit of time. This is the power unit, control right here, so we're good there. So now I just gotta assemble all the fittings to Hopefully I've got all the tools. All right, so here's one of the jacks. This one came a little, little damaged. Hopefully, I haven't opened it yet. Man, these things are always harder. Doesn't help, my knife is really dull too. Just line on. Cool. Right, cut this one. There we go. Set this down. Right up there it is. Oh. That is beautiful. Really nice. Can't wait to use it. Alright, let me put this down, get this thing out of the box, and we'll start assembling this bad one. Alright, so I got this thing out of the box. Really nice. This one's kind of leaking some sort of fluid right down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, so hopefully that is not bad news but it looks like it was leaking already in the box. And one of the things I saw in the video is that you try to lift this separate a little bit, use one of the blocks so that you have a little bit more room to work with this thing over here. But I am kind of worried because it is leaking already and I haven't even put any fluid in there, so. All right, we'll see how it goes. 
All right, so I've got my 11 16th. I think you need a 22. One of those adjustable wrenches, 11 16th. You're gonna need a uh, hex five and a six or seven. It's somewhere in the instructions, but just like everybody else had been complaining, mine does not have any instructions in the box. So I guess it's happening to everybody. Not sure what's going on, but they do have a link. Maybe I'll share that in the comments below to the PDF guide. I've watched like six videos already on how to put it together. So I feel a little bit more comfortable doing it, but probably doesn't hurt to uh, look at the user's guide. Anyway, I'll link to it below. And uh, let's take this sucker out so we can put the first fitting in here. It's really not tight on there, which is probably why it's leaking a lot of fluid. No, still can't do it by hand, so. Let's try a couple more times. bad so we got that one off so the first thing we got to do is put these L fittings in there so I'll get a couple of these out and get going all right so the first thing they said hopefully you guys can see this was to get the pipe tape I'm not sure what this is called uh, on here should have a name but I'm not sure what it is anyways this is just so you don't get any leaks now on one of the ends as you can see hopefully this thing will focus in it already has an O-ring, so you don't have to use the thread it, uh, tape in there, or the thread tape, whatever you want to call it. So the only thing you have to use it is on this side, which is the side that connects on the little hose. Let me grab the hose. Where is that? Up? Right here. And this is going to connect here once you put the tape and everything else on there, right? So that goes in there, and then on the other end, you're going to have one of these quick connects. One of these bad boys here, which is the quick connects. some tape on there one of the things they said is to make sure that the way you put the tape on there is to put it on the way you're gonna thread this on there and I don't know if this thing is hopefully it's focusing it's really hard to tell uh, but do it by hand of course as always and then you can use the tool and it looks like I did it right because it's not coming off right um, you don't have to do this right away you can always uh, I just wanted to show you what it looked like get the, this piece on there first because with this hose it's going to be a little bit harder to do it that's why I only did it by hand and didn't over tighten this real quick but so let me take that off and all you have to do is put this down here it is a little hard to work in here unless you got really small hands to get in the hole and that's why they said to use the block here because this thing is kind of hitting at the bottom so I may need to uh, use a taller I know it's kind of hard to see it now, but uh, that does give me a little more space to work on here. There we go. Still hitting. Just gotta lift the lift a little bit because that little T kind of hits at the bottom right there. I think you want to angle these towards the back because the hose usually goes out that way from what I've seen and that's where you take this bad boy here and just bring it up close so that you can make it nice and snug that has a little o-ring on there you don't have to over tighten these so you'll strip out the, the threads just get it enough to where it's not gonna leak I think that's good enough there now we take the hose and connect it in here. Doing it by hand first. Super tight, but tight enough to avoid any leaks from happening right there. So, 
This will flow towards the back. Okay, so we did number one. Now I have to uh, put some air in here. And you can do this with an air compressor. You can do it with a bicycle pump. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. Uh, even one of those portable, if you've got a little portable, uh, what do you call it? Air compressor, air tire inflator. So you're gonna put some air. 50 PSI is what uh, they recommend. But once again, don't use this video as a Instructional assembly video, please refer to the user's guide as always. Hopefully we got this all correct. Hopefully the leaking over here wasn't uh, anything to be concerned about. And we've got air. And if you're wondering what the air is for, this is what helps the jack actually come down because otherwise they'll take forever to come down on their own. So make sure you put that in. One thing to remember is I was using this block when I had this lifted up so I could access the T-fitting a little bit better. Make sure you move this first before you put air, otherwise that thing can collapse on you really hard. So be real careful that your hands don't get caught in between. And remember to have this fully closed before you do the air. All right, we're done with the first one. Second one should be a little bit easier. Remember to remove this. It's just like a little cap that's on there. This one was uh, just hand tight on there. Then you get your T fitting. I've already put the the threaded tape on here. I uh, wanted to make sure I got this right. Remember the O-ring side is the one that's going to go in here. Now if you try to do it right here it's going to be hard because the T is not going to be able to rotate. So what they recommend is taking one of the blocks that you use for uh, jacking the car up. That goes in here. These are the ones you slide in here for the mounting points. And actually use your hand. Lift. It's going to be hard to do this with one hand. Position this way be able to see it. And get this out of here. Just kind of lift, separate these two, but as you can see the camera is gonna fall. Here we go. So just separate and put it right there. So that'll help you get that little extra space. And I keep saying T-fitting, but it's not a T-fitting. It's actually an elbow. So apologies for the using the wrong name there. Now it still hits in there. See, it's still just barely touching. I'm gonna have to separate it even further. And uh, you want to get this as far as it goes, but I think it's right before that. And then you use this nut here to position it in place, and then you tighten this puppy. I think this is the 716. Yep, sure is. Hopefully you guys can still see in there. It's kind of kind of hard to see it. Just want this pointing back because that's where the quick connect hose is going to go. And once again, don't over tighten this. That's probably good right there. I've already put the thread tape on there, so now I need to get my hose. I've already done one end. You kind of feed this through the back because you want this pointing out the back. We start by hand. There we go. And then you do it with the actual wrench itself. And remember to do the tape in a way that it goes with the way you're going to be tightening this. Otherwise, it might not be on there good and it may leak and all sorts of problems there. Same thing with this, do not overdo it. I think that's good. And I've got the quick connect on that other end already. So now, I didn't capture this the first time. I'm gonna remove this block, do this carefully so your hands don't get pinched. 
lower this all the way. Then I'm gonna make one more adjustment to the T so that it's perfectly aligned there towards the back. And I'm gonna retighten this one more time. There we go. I don't want any leaks. Now I'm gonna come over here and do the air. Remember to do this while this block is out because if you leave that block in there while you put the air, it's gonna wanna collapse on you. All the air does is help the jack lower itself once you uh, don't have the weight of the car on there anymore. And once again, I'm using my trusty, it's got a gauge in there, about 50 PSI that you wanna put on there. Again, you can use an air compressor, pretty much uh, anything. About three or four pumps, and she is good to go. I wanna do a little bit more just because some of the air is gonna leak out. You can see right there. And now I put that cap back on there. And we are done. Now I just gotta do the hoses. And we're ready to test. One thing I wanted to highlight, guys, is in your power unit, I've also read where some people might have gotten the DC version. Make sure you have a plug. That's how you know, or that's how you will know that you've got the electric one, unless you want the, the DC one uh, versus the AC, so up to you. But uh, just double check that before you start putting everything together. By the way, I was wrong which is not the first time. I'll make sure I add a comment on there. The owner's manual, it was in the box, in one of the jack boxes, but uh, it was uh, like really underneath one of the, one of these covers right here. And as you can see, the camera's washing out. And that's why I didn't see it the first time, because it's kind of hidden under there. And uh, it just looked like one of the pieces of styrofoam. So apologies, Quick Jack. You did include the manual. I lucked out in that that sense. So, anyways, let's get get on with it and finish this. All right, guys. So now it's time to do the long hoses. And one of the things I wanted to point out is make sure that uh, sorry, it's kind of messy in here. These kind of look similar, but there are male and female versions of these, and that's what goes at the end over here because these will also thread in there. Ask me how I know. So make sure you're not using the, the quick connects on the wrong side. These here, the male versions, are the ones that are gonna go in here, okay? So again, always refer to your user manual and uh, that's always the best thing to do. So I'm gonna put some tape on these. I gotta put the camera down real quick and then we'll get these uh, end fittings on and we should be good to go. All right, we got the hoses done. Now the last piece is to get these fittings in here where the long hose is connected. So again, these already have a uh, O-ring on there so you don't have to put any threaded tape. And remember to do the bottom one first so it's easier for you to get in there and tie it up. So I'll put the camera down for a second, get those in and tie them up and we should be able to test soon. All right, I got all the fittings connected, all the hoses connected. Now I just gotta fill this with some ATF, number two and a half quarts, and you may have to top it off a little bit more once you get all the air and bleed it out. Make sure you have a nice little funnel so you don't make a mess. And uh, after that, it's just a matter of plugging it in and testing it out. All right, guys, I've got everything connected. I've actually done a couple of tests just to get the air out. Remember, raise it up about halfway, uh, bring it down, let the air out. You can stand it up as well, so let's see if it's doing any better. Seems to be going a little bit smoother, so there's still some air in the lines. So I'm gonna raise it back up all the way this time. It was way worse than that before. All right, all the way up, pretty good height. I'm gonna lift these suckers up. This one's kind of bent out a little bit. Or it's not locking in place, so make sure yours is good to go. You don't want that thing not to lock in place. 
See if when we bring it down, it should be a little bit better. There's still some air in there. You can definitely hear it. We're bringing it down. There's a drop. So let me. There we go. Move this up. There we go. Ah, this one keeps doing that. It falls right there. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna let some air out. So. Gotta back this little screw in here. Should hear some air come out. Hopefully you can hear it. A little bit of fluid may come out too, so be ready to close that up quickly. You just gotta do that a couple of times and hopefully after a few, you're good to go. But I can already tell mine is moving a lot smoother than it was when I, uh, when I did the first one. Really. So let's do this side as well. And you can see it went down just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do it about four or five more times until all the air out. I want these things to move as smooth as possible. Make sure you retighten that back up. Let's see how it moves now. Definitely smoother. Every time I let air out, it moves. Still, you can see there's still some air in the lines. I may also adjust those teeth fittings down there and aim them up just a little bit more. It looks like that hose might be getting pinched there a little bit. All right, I quickly adjusted those elbow fittings. I keep saying teeth fittings, anyways. Those were aimed down a little bit too much. Looks like it was hitting on the metal, so now it should be a, a lot better. Another tip that I saw real quick is that you can stand these jack stands up and try to let some of that air out while it's doing this. Remember, this is pressurized, so make sure you're wearing protective eyewear and you don't get something in your eyes. All right, guys, this is it. Moment of truth. Gonna go ahead and lift this up. I'm gonna go slow. Check real quick, make sure I'm in the, in the correct place. Alright, I've checked all the points and it should be good. Let's go. First jacket point. Check one more time. Make sure this comes down on here. Once I back it down. Yeah. I just have to lower it. No longer came for this. Nope. Didn't catch. 